All right, thank you, Erica. And Moat Marine Laboratory wants to remind people the smell many are associating with red tide is the dead sea life, not the actual red tide organism itself. Well, in an effort to find solutions for red tide, two state representatives cross party lines this afternoon for a town hall meeting to answer questions and hear from constituents. State representatives Margaret Good and Joe Gruders listening for over an hour as locals expressed their many concerns. Here's a look at a bit of what was discussed. If this is going to last through season, I won't be in Sarasota. I won't, I won't be able to stay. What am I going to do, move inland? Everybody's going to move inland for jobs. There won't be any jobs for me. I've had to move off of Siesta Key because I feel so sick. I've had bronchitis. I'm pregnant. It's been, it's been very intense. Research on red tide is always popular when red tide is happening. More consistent efforts uh, to, to fund the research to really figure out the cycles, what's going on. Whether or not there's a one-to-one -one correlation between red tide and Lake Okeechobee or red tide and fertilizer runoff or any of that, that, I mean, the point is this isn't how we should be doing business. We should be protecting our environment so that we can continue to live here.